Now, from 21 Alive Plus, this is your FastCast. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Walter, joined right now with meteorologist Liz Braden. First this morning, we want to get a quick check of your weather forecast. Today is a first alert weather day. The meteorologists are tracking out some storm chances and the heat returns. Liz, kind of walk us through what you guys are looking at. Yeah, hey, good morning. In the early morning hours, we've been issued under a severe thunderstorm watch. That includes the city of Fort Wayne and areas to the north until noon. And that's because of this storm complex right here. It's gone through Wisconsin, Lake Michigan, and going through Michigan pretty quickly now, taking a nosedive to the south and that's headed toward the Indiana border for the early morning hours. That is packing a punch when it comes to wind. In fact, that's why the Storm Prediction Center has issued a large amount of Indiana, if not nearly the entire state, and that level two slight risk for severe weather. Our main threats for today include strong wind, so that is something to really plan for. The strong wind threat could be damaging and it could cause some power outages. Here's a look at future track. You'll notice again that complex moving from north to south over the region. It could have again some segments that have severe thunderstorms as it continues to push more to the south, likely seeing the remnants of that system try to reemerge later this evening to perhaps pose another severe thunderstorm threat down to the far south, closer to the Ohio River Valley area, Jess. All right, Liz, obviously something you guys are keeping an eye on. You can keep up to date with us on our First Alert Weather app or on our website. We want to switch now to some stories we're following in the newsroom. Beginning with this, the Fort Wayne Fire Department is investigating after um, a fire overnight at Powers Hamburgers. They were called to the restaurant just after midnight, and when they got there, they found a small fire with smoke in the building, we understand. Firefighters did get it under control within three minutes, and there was minor damage, and that fire remains under investigation this morning. But in the meantime, FWFD says Powers will be temporarily closed. All right, we want to change gears now to the latest in that officer-involved shooting that killed a man on Saturday night. Fort Wayne Mayor Sharon Tucker spoke about the shooting last night. Mayor Tucker says the city plans to release the body camera footage of the shooting to the public, but only after Parms family sees it first. This as a protest gathered in downtown Fort Wayne last night, demanding answers and video of what happened Saturday night. 21 Alive reporter Meg Rossler has all those details. Monday in downtown Fort Wayne, people gathered for Linzel Parm, the 22-year-old shot and killed by a Fort Wayne police officer over the weekend. Many now want to see the body camera footage from the officer's view. Our entire city's Fort Wayne team has worked diligently to prepare and properly review the incident from the past weekend. Mayor Sharon Tucker answered that big question. The Fort Wayne Police Department is in communication with Linzel Farms family to allow them to view the body camera footage. Once the family has had the opportunity to view this footage and only after they've had a chance to view the footage, we will share that footage with the public and with the media. Tucker recognized the concern felt across the community. It is crucial to both the support of our city, the families involved, our officers involved, that we as a community come together and support each other to make sure that we are doing what we need to do as a city and as a community. We need justice and we need truth. Reverend Dr. Sahara Bledsoe with the NAACP says she won't rest until justice is served in this case. But I want to assure our citizens that no matter what and no matter how, this is the type of situation that calls on all of us to come together. This was somebody's child that we need answers for. And that's what we're here to do. Now, although we do know that that body camera footage will be released after police show Lindsell Parm's family, 
We are not sure exactly when that is going to be released to us in the public. Now, this is a story that we've been following closely. And for the very latest updates, you, of course, can visit our website. That's 21alivenews.com. That's all for us today on our 21 Alive News Fastcast. Of course, you want to make sure you're staying up to date with our weather. Our meteorologist will keep that uh, website updated all day long. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here again tomorrow.